Hello, you crazy awesome dancers, and welcome back to another video analysis. As promised, from now on, I'm gonna do one by one. This video was submitted by. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, pa, pa, parara. As far as I could see about your feet, you are rolling the feet, but it's because of that natural ankle rolling, meaning the ankle in its natural state holds your foot like this, and when you step, you roll the foot on the ground, but you need to use it actively. By the way, check the video because it's gonna give all the tips for everybody to dance a lot better in bachata all the techniques you need so coming back here we can see boom 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 let me okay so watch the foot going from here to around here somewhere so just watch this foot it's being lifted even to the side and then pushed inside and you kind of have that rolling of the foot because you can see over here you have the foot the ball of your feet and then your heel goes down right over here boom i can see that rolling of the feet but you need to do it actively in all your steps don't go to this side and then continue and step inside because you can see here this side is uh, lifted and your inside is down but let's see if that's the case on other steps as well yes you kind of do this throughout all your steps even here we can see this leg going like this this part is raised up so you need to be careful about this because it's gonna destroy your knees ankles hips legs always 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 remember check the video the action is from up to down up to down never to the side let's continue boom and one pam pam two 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 ru, ru. okay uh first we're gonna get the technique out of the way oh even here you are going with your heel first never here you're going with your heel first never do that never go with your heel first always use the toes of course you have some example uh, some exceptions in which you're using your heels but this is because of a problem in positioning she is like this you should have been 90 degrees right now you are like in a v okay like here and here 
she if she is like this you should have been like um 90 degree like that always because whenever you want to lead you want to lead from the body not that's why you also need to step with your heel over there going back a little bit pa 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 and one two three four five six Okay, over here, really fast, three things. Your shoulders are going up and down, as we can see over here, yeah? And don't do that. Shoulders down, use the body. Boom. You're using the hands a lot. And you're using the body less. So switch it up. Use more the body and not the hands. And uh, boom. The wave is incomplete from going up to down and also from going down to up you need to first breathe in lay back a little bit and then go forward right now over here you're just lifting your hand as you can see over here and you're going from the hands no also about these steps i like it if you made it consciously and you stepped on the music because that was like really nice but always when you do those kinds of steps think about going down with the energy you are going up right now your energy is towards up like jumping when you do this kind of stuff especially with your feet you need to be grounded because you need to put a focus on your feet you want to do that and the hands can continue doing your move without going up and down. Everybody, it would help us a lot if you subscribe to our channel. Right now, 60% of you viewers are not subscribed. Help us grow this channel and share more information for free. Tum, tum, okay. Way too big of a step for going back in partner work. In this case, you turn her, but you don't turn her on her line. Usually when you want it somewhere over here. So small steps, always small steps. Pa, 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 and one, two, three, four. This is okay. You need to isolate it a lot more. Right now you're not connecting the upper body with the lower body especially you can see here on the left side you're doing it okay Tururu. but on the right side it's not isolated it's like going up and just isolating at the end okay uh, you lost control over here you need more control on your body over here you're using the hands a lot always use the body Whenever you're using the body, the, f the feeling is going to be so much better. Like over here, it's a lot better on this motion. Just like you're doing here, you're using your upper body. I would recommend also your head to be a little bit back. Not, not back like this, but back like straight. Because right now you see you're something like this. You're a little bit hunched forward. So that will also help with the movement because you're gonna have that counterbalance boom okay you're uh, at the end here you used too much the hands okay you see your elbows start around here and they go around over there it's too too high so there's no reason why you should lift your elbows that much again lead more from the body over here again you're lifting the elbows way too much uh, anchor them using the shoulder blades and uh, the lats so connect them to the hands always lead from the body pam pam okay Tum. your taps overall are a little bit rushed so example here you're just touching the floor you need to touch push touch push and so on because the tap has its own technique it's a very important step a lot of dancers just straight up jump over the tap they don't treat it as an important tap but it's really important okay over here was a you didn't connect it because if you connect it and stayed here and connect here here like have your uh right side of the body connected with her shoulder blades her hip area your hand you should have controlled her a lot better especially because she's also on her right foot she has her weight on the right so if you just pulled or pushed or just moved your body to the left she would have come 
with you. You can see your hand staying behind. So your hand is gonna stay somewhere around here. Watch this closely. Yep, yeah. So in this case, if you wanted her to come with you, you should have connected the hand to your body and just moved with it entirely to the left. Here the same, just like with the other steps, you need to do the action down. The active movement is down. Boom, boom. It's not up because up it's rushed and it's relaxed. It's two, 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 two. Hope this makes sense and it's gonna make that move a lot better. Pum, pum. Your hands are, are relaxed. How can I tell? Because you're moving the forearm, the wrist, the hand, the arm, um, not connected to each other and definitely not connected to the body. If you connect the hands to the body, you're gonna lead a lot better. Never use the hands separately from the body when leading. In, okay, like an asterisk. When you wanna do stuff only with hands, then you kind of disconnect the hand from the body to do that stuff. But when you wanna lead, go with the body, connect the hands to the body. Boom, boom, boom. You rushed the taps. Bam, 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 bam. Two, two, two. Okay, so sometimes you have like really good body movement. You just need to use it overall, always. Again, with uh, the move up, don't go that big. The moves can be done really small and they can be seen. The moves usually are seen better when they are clean and complete, not when they are really big. Over here you're using the shoulders a lot and the hands. Again, you see you're using the, the, uh, the elbows. Again, you're raising the elbows over here. So overall, just watch for the elbows. Really up, down, up again. That move should, all, all the moves in the shadow position must be led from uh, the body, meaning you use your hands to connect to the body and where your body goes, your hands goes go as well. Of course, again, with the asterisk that maybe you want to do a hand movement, that's when you disconnect the hand from the body, but 99% of the time, uh, lead from the body. Bam, bam, five, six, seven. Here you went a little bit off time to say it, so you went on five instead of one, but that's not a big deal, especially in social. Again, the steps, really nice in terms of musicality, just do them under you, connect them with the upper body, use the, uh, the core, especially your abs, and tense up a little bit your feet, use the anchors actively, and whatever motions you will do, you will feel them a lot better. And also they will look better, you will control them better. Pa, pa, pa. Over there I recommend you do not skip the tap if you are not pivoting because you pivot in two halves. You stay over here, so you end up here and then you do another pivot. Like that and it's, um, it's not that it's rushed but it's not clean and it, it can possibly hurt your knees. So pivot all the way. Or use the tap intermittently. Don't rush into the steps, do the taps. Here as well, when you push yourself to the side, it's because you're using only your feet. You can see that you're moving only this part or like you're pushing yourself from this part, but always all the moves have the intention from the upper body, not the lower body. This will help you a lot when doing moves like this, especially side to side, forward and back, dynamic moves, but always you have the intention. Over here, you can see that you're going only from the legs. Pa, pa. Ta -ra -ra -ra. Boom. Yes, mainly you're moving your body from the, the legs. You should connect with the core, with the abs, and tense up again the legs and use the ankles to move yourself. Boom. 
this was a lot better done because you can see you are using the body more you are isolating this part and this part and you're using them together to create that side to side movement which i think was the same as before but the one before you wanted to do it more like up and down maybe that's maybe why this one is no no it's the same move so here you did it a lot better you led a lot better overall the move you used your body more now you used your uh, hands more but remember use the body just like you did before because it was really good and when you're doing this exit go down a lot more and release the hands because right now if it makes sense you are like this but your hands are not releasing her you want to go up and now all oh, only now you're releasing the hands one additional tip that you can do over here is you pushed with your hip she understood you're going into like a dip but now release your hip come back with it and the move is gonna be much more fluid boom yeah and do it a little bit slower more controlled boom okay again you're a little bit you see a little bit not in the shadow position but you're also not 90 degrees towards her it's like you're semi opened if that makes sense so choose either back to back or 90 degrees because it's gonna help a lot more over here the move is good overall but you're using your shoulders more so you're raising your shoulders and you're using your hands a lot use less this but uh, these body parts and more the entire body so you do the wave you lift but your hands are way too up okay down tum, tum. Pa -ra -ra -ra. okay i can see her she's doing a really good job she's i can see that she has uh, good skills uh, i don't know she seems like she's flexible yeah really flexible um i think she's a good dancer so let me know maybe she is an instructor yeah she has some uh, good skills overall throughout the video she she stood out as being like um really good overall you did a good job you you kept the rhythm with those small off times don't worry overall you need to lead more from the body uh, use the feet a lot more active your energy should always be down when you do those jumps those steps use the ankles more actively use the core and lead from the body besides that really good job keep up the good work check the video again for some small details that you can improve and how to improve them that was the analysis hope you liked it remember to subscribe help this project grow you can send me your videos you crazy awesome dancers just Check the first comment for more information about that. Ciao, see you in the next video.